She has been like this since she came back from school. She's been like this since she came back from school? And you have not bothered to find out why she's been crying? Uh, are you a normal person? What's wrong with you? Uncle, I gave her food to eat. Um, all she has been saying is, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. I begged her to eat her food. Okay, Angel. Mommy is coming back tomorrow. Oh, shh. Mommy is coming back tomorrow. I know that you miss her. You are missing her too. Right? She's coming back, so stop crying, right? That's my girl. That's my girl. Rita, why is she looking so unkempt? I, I was, I was going to do her hair. Listen, do you know you don't take care of this girl at all? Anytime I come back here again and find her looking this way, I will make you look worse. I mean, what if people came in here now? What would you say? That I don't take care of my own child? No, Uncle, I'm sorry. Why? Daddy, I want you to do it. You want you to do it? Rita, come get her me, quickly. I'm going to buy you 
ice cream, and after that we will go to the cabs and drive around and take to the museum of the aeroplane. What's the operation? I hope she is okay. Don't worry yourself, your daughter is fine. <laughs> She's okay. Doctor. Yes, Papa. She's our only child. The operation was successful. Don't worry yourself, okay? She's fine. She's well already. Hmm? Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Doctor, thank you. Thank you. Thank God. God bless you. Thank God, Mama. Thank God. Don't worry God yourself. bless you, Doctor. Thank God. I'm only doing my job. Don't bother yourself. Your daughter is well. Hmm? Just take care of her. Let her sleep and rest. Don't disturb her. Don't wake her up. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, ma'am. Is anything the matter? No, no problem. Where is she? She's in our office. That's all right. Please, Dr. Makinde, I can't. My family already expects me tomorrow. Please, doctor, I can't. Hi. I, I... Dr. Regina. I didn't expect you would want to stay one or two more days. But the hospital already pleads with you. Just for the sake of humanity. Doctor, I know. I... Oh my God. Please doctor, I suggest you look for someone else to perform the surgery. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. Please. Doctor. If it were that easy to see a very good surgeon like you, we wouldn't have sent for you. But doctor, okay, listen, listen, doctor. I know exactly how you feel. But please, I beg you in the name of God to tell you the truth. None of us expected this new case. It is a referral from our sister hospital. Please, do this, at least if not for us, but for the patients. You might just be her only long-awaited miracle. Yes, it's true, and I believe it. Jesus Christ, that's two days away. I'm sorry, honey. An emergency cardiac operation just came in this evening. I didn't really foresee this. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, I understand. But look, look, we're missing you a lot. Eh? I miss you people too. I really do, honey. I miss you. How's my baby? Uh, I've just put her to bed. She cried all through the day. Says she wants to see you, that she's missing you a lot, and I mean, what can I do? Oh, honey.
Mommy, I miss you people too. I miss her a lot. I miss you too, darling. Please tell her that I'll, I'll leave Enugu first flight on Saturday. It's all right. I'll call early in the morning before Vanessa goes to school, okay? Okay, we'll be expecting your call. I love you, Richard. I love you. Good night. Good night, honey. I believe it's going to be great doing business with your company. It will be my great pleasure satisfying your needs, Chief. Well, that will not be too difficult. After all, your company's profile of executed projects is a testimony of a company with a mission. A high flyer, and that is exactly the mission statement of our bank. Well, coming from you, I... Uh... I feel flattered. Thanks for the compliment. Who in this country does not know Pinnacle Construction Company? Let me tell you, it is good jobs you are doing out there. So please keep it up. Thank you, Chief. I, I'm short of words. You do not need to say anything. Your jobs speak for you. In fact, it was a unanimous decision by the Board of Directors that your company be awarded the construction of our ultra-modern bank headquarters. As I said earlier, Chief, um, we'll try our best not to disappoint your expectations. All right, that will be nice. Well, uh, I think I'll have to run wrong. Thank you very much, Chief. Um, we'll be sending down the designs and the models of the structure by Friday. Well, we'll be expecting you then. It's all right, Chief. Thanks again, and please have a nice day. Have a nice day, too. Thank you, Chief. Bye bye. I missed your lunch so much, you know. Oh. I can't wait. I come, can't let me come and help you. As long as you won't be on my way. Promise, Mommy. I come and tell me all that's happened to me. Rita. Rita. Yes, Uncle. Get me a bottle of very cold beer. Any beer.
How is my daughter? And how was the operation? Quite successful. Your daughter will be fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Doctor, does that mean she will be, be disturbed soon? So that you think, madam. Mm -hmm. She's already responding to the text. Don't worry Say anything, doctor. It's, it's really a surprise to me. Obviously not to us, doctor. You more than deserve it. You are a pride, not only to this hospital, but to the entire country. So, congratulations on your new appointment. I'm greatly honored, Prof. Thank you very much, sir. I'll be leaving now. I have a meeting to attend. I'll see you when I come back. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. Child and Daddy says I'm a big girl. I know. You're a big girl, I said it. But don't you want bright eyes, strong bones, a healthy body that does not fall sick? Don't you want them? What may I do? Then eat your vegetables, okay? Vanessa, do what your mommy says. Mm? If she says eat your vegetables, then eat them. Look at me. Don't you like the way I look? It's because I eat vegetables all the time. <laughs> eat your vegetables. Okay, Daddy. That's my girl. That girl. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Honey? Yes. Something happened today at the office. What is that? Board of Teaching Hospital. Mm, again. Good. So, um, what were you promoted to this time? Head of Surgical Department and Deputy Medical Director. Head of Surgical Department, Deputy Medical Director. That's a big one. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I guess that means more responsibilities, right? Yes, sir. In fact, uh, that's as much as saying that we shall be seeing you even less than we used to do. No, honey. I understand what you're thinking about. But it's not going to be like that. I'll put my family first before my job. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, honey. Are 
Tell you something how this is working. Okay. It cleanses and prints back any name that you wish on the product. Wow. It also prints back the batch number on any of the products of your choice. Then what are we waiting for? We're in business. But I told you. <laughs> I did tell you. <laughs> you see, Chief, uh, I have needed something like this for a very long time in business. I see. But then I get to hear that the government is planning a crackdown. Now, oh. wait a minute. Which government are you talking about? Same government. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind them. Mm -hmm. I have them in my pocket. <laughs> I have them in my pocket. <laughs> now, let, let, let me tell you. Let me go for and explain to you how this thing works. Okay. Government. Yes. They are just noise makers. They create activities. Divert people's attention so that they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> but I tell you something. I want to assure you that we're in business. I hear you. No shaking. <laughs> By the way, yes. I was going to tell you that um, I will be leaving for Abuja tomorrow. What for? Oh, well, my constituency. They summoned me. They want me to represent them at the National Assembly. So I intend to go meet with um, existing members of the National Assembly and some excellencies and over, over lunch and um, we can discuss the future of this country. But Chief, how come you didn't signify this intention earlier? Anyway, now you know about it. <laughs> and I tell you something, my friend. Yeah. There is nothing like political power. Mm -hmm. Because when you have power, mm. you can make, you can mark, you can pronounce, you can dictate. <laughs> the power resides in you, and then you are in business. You protect yourself. So what are you talking about? Oh, gee. You never cease to impress me. Let's go to the other <laughs> You never cease to impress me. Make you stop and make you stop and me no go. No, no, there is nothing wrong, uh, except that... Um, Vanessa is all alone at home, and um, I wouldn't like her to be left alone there for too long. No, Rita is not in the house, and uh, work on that uh, construction has begun, and um, I won't be coming back on time. So please, I'd like you to hurry home. Uh, yeah, be home on time. Mm. Now that's all, just uh, maybe around five, six, but. Uh, don't let her remain alone in the house, please, no matter what happens. Well, that'll be good. That'll be great. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, love you too. Right. Angel, wake up, daddy is home. Come on. Hey. Come on, honey, wake up, let's go to bed. Come on. Hmm? Daddy. Hmm? Daddy. Hmm? Where, where is mommy? <sighs> mommy is not home yet, but she'll be coming soon. Hmm? Come on, let's go and sleep. Come on. Come, 
Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Check your watch, it's past 12. You left this house at 8 o'clock. Now listen, love. I have had enough of this nonsense. Make up your mind. It's either you choose between this family and your work. Honey, please, it was an emergency. Shut up before I kill you! Are you crazy? It's always an emergency or some sort of development in your office. Are you the only person who works there? Listen, we have only one child. This girl has been lying here all day with nobody to look after her. What kind of mother are you? Tell me. Why must your job come first? Why must this family suffer? Because of this nonsense you call work. We could with any other baby. Right? Because of this work, nothing ever works in this house. I mean, what, 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 what is all this? Your daughter had a birthday. You did not know. You don't even know how she performed in school. Whether she eats or not, you do not know. And yet, you claim to be a mother. What kind of work are you doing? You tell me. Listen, I married you. I'm not your work. I have had it up to the neck. And look, honey, I will not take it again. It's either you settle for your work, move out, and face that work, or you stay here and face this family. I would not mention this to you again. Please, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, Linda, what is it? Mr. Harlan is here to see you, sir. Oh, well, let him in. Starting this responsibility, and you are even more prepared to touch on more lives in the nearest future. Thank you, sir. Regina, I tell you something you are destined for greater heights, and I mean every inch of this word. What is the best way to do that than being called upon to serve one's country, your country? my country, which is an honorable call. And we know you won't let us down in this new assignment. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I need to think about it. I'm really sorry. I can't accept the appointment without first discussing with my husband. Of course you must let your husband know about this. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I do. And then what do I tell the presidency who gave this appointment to you? Remember, this is a federal appointment. Yes, I know. 
I know. I'll let them know. I need time. Just a little time. Yes, I know. But procrastination, they say the thief of time. But I also want you to remember that it is better to serve at the national level. All right? I understand. Thank you very much, sir. It's my pleasure. Darling, here. What is it? I got it today from the presidency. The presidency? Let me see. <laughs> this this is a big word. You don't mean to say Yes. Head of the task force on fake and adulterated drugs. <sighs> How do I react to this? I mean this is this 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 is one surprise too many. That is exactly what I said. Mm. But I, I won't accept it. Did I hear you right? I can't accept it, Richard. That's what I said. I know, I know it's an honor given to me to serve, but I can't handle it. Wait a minute, wait. You mean to tell me that you, Regina, will refuse a job, a job from the presidency? Honey, that's exactly what I just said. I'm not accepting it. Hey. hey. <laughs> Regina Okonkwo is refusing a job. Of course I said I won't accept. Regina is refusing a job. Wonders will never end. Of course I said I'm not accepting it. Regina, you're refusing a job. I can't, I can't believe Oh, honey, what is all this now? Hey! Regina Okonkwo is refusing a job. I'm accepting it. <laughs> Sweeter, my body is spinning me. But, but you're not running temperature. I'm sure it's too much play in the school today. I have a headache. Sorry. I will, I'll get you some pain relief. But you have to eat something. I don't feel hungry. Even if you don't, 
You have to eat before you take any form of medicine. Let me buy the drugs first before we think of what you eat, okay? Sorry. I'm sorry, this is too, too sudden. No plans? No notifications? No. Too abrupt to say the least. No. I shall have finished, Doctor. If there was anything I could do to change it, of course I will. But this is way beyond me. I can't certainly go to Abuja today. I can't. It's not a matter of leaving for Abuja. But you're doing that right away. Ah. Yes, that's the way it is. Have it. Your flight ticket. The flight is by 4 o'clock. God. Of course, there are other details inside the document. And um, I don't think you really have much time to sort yourself out. The operation is at 8 o'clock this evening. Sir, what about my family? My husband? And what will I tell them? I didn't plan for this. I, yes, you I, I, I didn't plan for this. Listen, listen to me, doctor. You tell them it's a matter of life and death. The patient is a two-year-old with a heart defect. And this was why you were sent specifically by the National Hospital at Abuja to come and carry out this operation. I can't certainly leave like this. I, I, I can't. I know how it is, Regina. Yes, I know. But think about it. Would you have turned your back on one innocent life you could as well have saved? Think about it. Anyway, when you are in Abuja, give me a call. Meanwhile, I wish you a successful operation. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. But try to understand. Yes. It's an emergency. Look, I don't care. I don't care. I know how you feel. I know. But please understand. Now listen, can't you think about this family for one minute? Vanessa is having her plans given there tomorrow. You're not going to be there. No, what kind of work is this? I promise to be back first thing tomorrow morning. The operation is slated for tonight at 8 o'clock. The last flight leaves in about 30 minutes. Please, darling. You see, I, I, I can't even come home to park. It's as bad as that. Sorry, please. Yes. I'm sorry I didn't plan for all this. I didn't. Please, understand. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll call home to talk to her. I will. Look, I don't like it. I don't like it. She's back. Auntie, Auntie, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with Venice. She has been shivering and she's, her body is hot. What did you buy? I went to buy some pain reliever um, and um, anti-malaria. Okay. Has she eaten? Yes, ma. I'll be back tomorrow morning. I wish I could come and see her. I'm already close to the airport. Please take good care of my daughter for me, Rita, please. 
You know she's my angel. Okay, ma. Make sure you give her the full medication, okay? Don't make any mistakes. Okay. Thank you very much, eh? I'll buy you something nice when I'm coming back. Save Johnny, ma. It's all right.
You are making the pain deeper by your silence. Please stop me, please stop me. Tell me, please, forgive me. I'm sorry. For three days now, three days you have not spoken a word to me. Please tell me, I'm sorry. Please tell me. Please tell me. Tell me, please talk to me. I stay on, I will either go mad or I'll do something I'm bound to regret later. I want to take a break, reorganize my life, reassess my life, that's all. I'll keep in touch. In this world, 
I've always dreamt of doing many wonders Having people looking up to me To lend a helping hand Just to see someone smile But now I really wonder would I do it all again? Was it worth the pain? Is this my reward? Can I be this burden of pain and misery? What a price to pay! Is this all I that I have been mistaken when all I really wanted was to succeed the memory of this day will never leave me I couldn't handle the responsibility of lending a helping hand and to see someone smile but you cannot please the whole world at the cost of those you love was it worth the pain? Was it worth the pain? Is this my reward? Is this my reward? Can I be this burden? Pain and misery. What a price to what pay. a price to pay. This is all I get. Oh, what a shame to gain the whole world and lose my very home. Was it worth it? Is this my is this my reward? Can I be? is a splendid surprise. I feel flabbergasted. I have already sent a copy to the presidency and the minister. I'm only waiting for their reply. You don't need to worry. I discussed with the honorable minister last night and we talked about you extensively. I am so happy. Let me now be the first to congratulate you on your new appointment. But, but, Prof, it's not yet confirmed. No, just wait and see. It's going to be okay. By the way, I was going to ask you, what made you change your mind? I have asked myself that same question, but up to now, I still haven't been certain about the answer yet. Maybe. So much water has passed under the bridge. So much I've asked. So much have happened in my life. I just feel that after what happened to me, I don't think I want to let another mother or parent feel the pain the death of my daughter caused me. I wouldn't want that. Doctor, you quite sounded emotional and I know where you're coming from. 
But I want you to be yourself. Be bold and let mighty forces come to your aid. You have quite a lot to offer this country. And we are urging you to push ahead. Don't ever give up. More so, your new appointment is one that requires a lot from you. So I wish you the very best as you pick up this appointment. I hope to get results from you. Thank you for your blessings and your encouragement. I'm grateful. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. This well, believe it. Uncle Emeka, I have been praying endlessly for him to come back home. I don't know. I don't know what to believe any longer. Yeah, it's all right. Mm? Just know that men are like that. And my nephew is not an exception. What pains me most is the fact that I have not seen him for a long time. Not even a call. I, I tried to call his line, but it's always switched off. I don't know what to do. Believe me. You have tried. You don't need to do more than you've done. For example, he has only been here just once since he left home. And he didn't stay long enough to say anything meaningful. I wonder what has come over him myself. I don't blame him. It's not his fault at all. I, I think... I believe I let him down. I only pray he forgives me. My God. Don't worry. Don't worry, Regina. He's not going to be sad all his life. Time, Regina, time. We heal the wound, okay? Sorry, Tonko. Thank you very much. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I think oh, I'll believe you now. Please, Uncle. When Nessie comes to see you, tell him to please come home. I miss him. Yeah. I miss him so very much. Yeah, I understand. Okay. 
Any more team? No, you can go. Publicity must be effectively used to disseminate information. Jesus! <laughs> Madam, what? Father Lord! your willpower. My sister, can you imagine? Huh. This is not, not business as usual. This is not business as usual at all, at all. Hmm. I have told them to give me a free hand to run this agency. Anyway, the president has assured me of his support. Hmm. Thank God. Thank God. Richard. What kind of behavior is this? How can you abandon your wife at the time she needs you the most? I thought you came here for something else. For God's sake, must we go all over this again? Yes. You know, your father wouldn't have been tolerant of this were he to be alive. Listen, leave Papa completely out of this. He's dead. Leave him alone. I will not. I will not because he's a man that faced his problems and fears squarely. And at the same time, he stood by his family. Look, Richard, I am disappointed. I yes. stood by my own family. Right? I stood by my own family. Okay, what else could I have done? I warned her. I saw it coming. Because of this woman, we lost our only child. Because of this woman, we couldn't make any other babies. I mean, what could I have done? Can you listen to yourself for a while? You think she is not a woman? Do you think she doesn't feel it too? Wouldn't it have been proper for you to have stood by her all this while? Look, my brother, success means nothing with no one to share it with. Exactly, that's where the problem started. Success. 
She became so successful in the office, it got into her head. And she lost her bearing completely. That's how this problem started. Success. Success. Now, what else am I supposed to do? What could I have done that I did not do? All right. She made a mistake. But what has happened has happened. What I'm saying is, let us put the past behind us. Eh? Richard, my brother, I beg you, please, go back to your wife. She needs you. With God, all things are possible. I have told you. you to go to my room and uh, you will see uh, again I must go again I must go by the top of my bed. Yes, so sir. bring it up here. Yes sir. come here. So what is delaying the food? Okay they get a very small dead before inside. Please I want you to hurry up because I'll soon be going out. Is that clear? Yes okay. Uh, Mary. Uh, yes bro you come. Uh, after briefing you I want you to get ready and uh, get dressed to go and see uh, Dr. Rachel. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our right. inside man has booked an appointment, and so she's expecting us. Okay, okay, okay. So you already know what to do? Of course, brother, I could take back. No problem. Yes. Hi. Yeah, thank you very much. Please hurry up, okay? Yes, okay. Yes, I I know the woman is tough, but I want to assure you that it's just a mere ass my task. Oh, yeah? Ask my task. All right. She'll soon get tired of it. I oh, mean, yeah? we have seen her tie before. No problem, brother. So you didn't need to worry. Okay, whatever you say. Please don't forget to mention my containers that is detained at the wharf. Okay, Very important. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. I got that in my brain. I'll, I'll do that. So, we don't have uh, much time. I want you to get going, go dress and uh, start going. Now, call me as soon as you finish. Okay? I'll do that, brother. I'll do that. I'll All certainly right. do that. See you later, bro. Okay. See ya. Bye. Whoever says that money can't buy everything didn't know where to shop. Dr. Mrs. Reginald, I will buy you. And after that, we will play the game my way. Um, ma'am, this matter is quite confidential. Oh, you mean Mrs. Abu? Yeah. No. She's my deputy. Mm. You can go ahead and discuss whatever you want to discuss with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. If you say so. As I was saying earlier on, my brother wishes to commend your great efforts at sanitizing the industry. You are doing a wonderful job. In fact, as a major importer in the pharmaceutical products, he wants us to work hand in hand, <laughs> you know, like partners. And he wants you to use your good office to look into the issue of our seized containers. Madam, I must let you know this. A lot has been invested in the importation. And but why must it be expired drugs that were imported? You know how it is here. You know how the business goes. I, I don't really think I know. One thing I know for sure is that nothing worth anything to us more than one life. Mm. So? It's all right. It's all right. I do understand. It's okay. But your brother was invited to the agency to come and clear some issues we have against him. Why is he refusing to come? No, I'm sorry. It's not that he's refusing to come. It's just that he has been out of the country for almost a month now. On business. That's all. I see. Yeah. Tell him we are still waiting. No problem, ma'am. I will pass the message on to him. Um, and he did say I should give you <laughs> this. <laughs> what is it? Madam, uh, this is, you know what I mean? <laughs> open it. Open it. Let's see what's inside. Oh, come on, madam. Come on. Go ahead and open it. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. No problem. It's okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
right? <laughs> mm. Wonderful. Yeah. That's right, that's right. What did you say we should do with this? <laughs> Madam, this is all yours. That is left for you to decide. Really? That's right, madam. Yes. That's right. Oh, thank you very much. God no bless problem, you. ma'am. No problem. <sighs> it's all right. That's very wonderful. No problem. Aqua. Yes, what? Are you saying he's your very good friend? Yes. Oh, yes. Long time ago, friend. <laughs> Even we attended the same primary school. And he knows me before I joined the agency. That's my buddy. That is my buddy. Know him. 20 years. That is my buddy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you. No problem, ma'am. Welcome. What do you say your name is again? My name is Henry, ma'am. Henry the man. Henry. That's right, ma'am. Thank you very much. No eh? problem, ma'am. Anytime, ma'am. Stella! Is that your call? Yes, bring your colleagues. Let them come and see our friends. <laughs> they, they brought some good news for us. Yes, nice to That's right, that's right, that's right. Arrest these two crooks for trying to bribe me. Hey, no, what? what is wrong? What? 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 If it's my money, I'll take it. Shh. No problem, man. Yeah. Yeah. Stella, keep this bag and the content as exhibit. Yes, ma'am. Can you imagine? Oh, hmm? God. God. It's mother. Why can't this food just lay? Why would they just lay? How can they lay? If they learn, things will change. But they can't learn. I wish they can. Greed. Turn back the hands of time when the sun used to shine. When my life was filled with joy and happiness. Turn back the hands of time when everything was fine. When my world was filled with laughter and with peace. Turn back the hands of time when you were still. She's using juju? No. I don't she, think so. She's not moved by threats. 
to bribe or even attempt to bribe her is as good as securing yourself a jail time. I mean, even all the inside men have been relieved of their duties. For God's sake, for God's sake, what else do we do? I heard that um, they've even deployed more policemen to our house for around the clock security. I heard that too. Oh, well, uh, gentlemen, there must be a way, for Christ's sake. There must be a way! We have to get her before she gets to us. And we all know that we are wanted men on her list. Mm. So do we have to fold our arms in a kimbo and wait for her to pick us? Oh, no. So what are we talking about? No, Chief, that's why I said earlier that maybe we need to cool off somewhere for a while. Give us enough time to plan our strategies. Very well, very good idea. We've got to cool off somewhere. <laughs> very brilliant idea. Oh, how I love that. Yes. So what happens to my business? I ask you. I have invested so much. What happened to my business? Chief. I have invested a lot. You have invested. All of us have invested. Yes. And you are talking about going on holiday or something. Oh, well, gentlemen, I can see you are not ready for this business. In that case. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no Chief. It's, it's all right. right. Chief. That's not what we mean, please. If it's the last option. So be it. Chief. If you are there, we are there. Yes. Gentlemen. I say. So we are in business. Yes, Chief. Yes. Are we in business? Oh, yes, yes Chief. We are in business. We are in business. We are in business. Chief, one last thing. Yes. Uh, how about your friends up there? Are they aware? Uh, well, I have to assure you that um, those of them at the top are private to every discussion that I have with you. <laughs> also. Chief, Chief! Regarding our security, mm -hmm. we are covered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen it to amuse me. So, my dear brothers, we've got now to plan, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we have to look for an insider mm -hmm. who will monitor her. Yes, he can, I will handle that. So, so very well, we have to handle that, okay? And you, I want you to be in charge of telecommunication. Even to a toilet. You have to tap her. <laughs> Every time she's on the phone, we have to know who she's talking Precisely. to. Precisely. And that way, to we are business. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we cannot wait for a little young lady, a doctor, from nowhere, to yeah, come and disturb us. Do. Do. Well, then why are we in business? Okay, so Chief, uh, we sit down and make plans. Oh, come on. Yeah, you go again. I'm at your holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen to me. Listen to me. Hello? Hello? What is that supposed to mean? Is that a threat or something? To stop me from performing my duty? That is a lie. No threat will stop me. I am going to perform my duty to the fullest.
Madam, we expect more of this in the coming future. This is just a tip of the iceberg. The tax force is capable of waging a war against all these heartless proliferators and enemies of our fatherland. Madam, please, some people are of the opinion that your tax force have merely been running after the small fries. Please, what about the godfathers in this illicit business? Very good question. As we have said, very soon the party will start and a lot of people will force to dance to our tunes. Please, 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 madam. please, please, please. Can I leave now? I said, come to my office for more interviews. Not now. I beg, make you stop and stop and in a good. Mrs. Abu, make sure all the newspapers get a copy of that. Also, make sure that all other lists of sealed premises and shops, as well as all the blacklisted products, are updated. Uh, but, madam, we're still waiting for the list from the Enugu office. My God, they still haven't sent it. They've not sent it. It's all right. Just go ahead and distribute that. Okay. I'll call the general office. All right, ma'am. Uh, please come. Yes, hello? Yes? Oh, Inspector, good day. Man on our list. Yes. No problem. No problem at all. We'll also send some of our men for added support. It's all right, Inspector. Thank you very much. I'll wait for further information. Thank you. Bye. Good news, madam. Oh, oh my God. The best news in a long while. Oh, wonderful. The police just got a tip off of the whereabouts of Chi Babalola. The same Babalola? Yes, the oh, big fish. Wonderful. They are planning a raid on his premises. That's great. Oh, that's great, madam. That will be a major breakthrough for the tax force, madam. Oh, wonderful. You can say that again, Mr. Oh. Say it again and again and again. Oh, my God. Well, it's all right. Uh, go and pass the information to the director of the operations. Right. Tell them to be on alert. All right. Wonderful. All right. that uh, next time we will not have to go through this kind of embarrassment. Oh uh, well, I want to assure you that um, as long as um, I have my men up there, I have assurances we don't have a problem. And that is why I want to go to the National <laughs> Assembly. <laughs> Please hold it, hold it. We are from the Presidential Tax Force for Fake Drugs. Please. Who the hell are you? Excuse me. What are you doing? Why is this security matter? Badging in here without any permission. <laughs> Who are these reforms? Please. Who are these towns? Exactly. Can you please just... See, you can go go like like that. You. Shall we go now? Who are these towns? Thank you. See, can I have your search warrant, please? Just please. please. What is all this? You guys respect your statement. Let's get fired. Who is a guy? Just I will put a call to the Inspector General. All right. Okay, Thank you very much. Go. Please. Go follow me. No, just... No, who will follow just me? Just... Chief? Sorry. Stand. What do you mean by that, Cassidy? Cassidy, 
la plaque, passez la plaque Cassez-le Hello and welcome to the news read by Veronica Duffy. Breaking news. Dr. Regina of the newly created fake drug agency escapes death. Eyewitnesses claim it was divine intervention at work. Although the driver lost his life, but Dr. Regina is safe and convalescing at an undisclosed location. We all, and I know a lot of people out there, wish her a speedy recovery. And in another development, the federal government has assured its citizenry a good welfare package come second quarter of the year. He made this assertion when he paid a cut of visit to Okumbo community in a Matata local government area of Ekelba State. This news broadcast is from ETS Television. Taking an oath. 